hey guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to have a look on how to use the analog rhythm mark 2 inside bitwig studio so there's actually two things you need to make sure um, are in place before we can start so on the analog rhythm we go to the global settings then we navigate to the system and usb config and now we want to make sure that overbridge is selected. In the second step, we are going to go to the audio routing. And now you can see um, route to main is 12 to 12. That means that all our 12 pads are basically routed to the main output of the analog rhythm device. We don't want this because we can then, uh, we are only left with the FX channel if we unselect all. So let's unselect all of them. And now we can uh, record our FX chain separately. Okay, so back in BigBit Studio, we are going to add our analog rhythm plugin. The first thing we want to do here is we go to the little multi-out chain selector symbol. And now we can see all our outputs from the analog rhythm. If you do this the first time, it's probably empty. So what you have to do is you have to click on add missing chains. I would recommend to now right click and save this as a default preset so the next time you load the plugin um, the setting is already in place. Okay, so let's add some audio tracks. We need a total of nine audio tracks, um, eight tracks for our eight outputs on the device and then one for the FX channel which will come through through the um, main output. Okay, so in the next step, we are selecting one of the audio tracks, click on the input settings, and then we select the analog rhythm chains. And now you can see, we can select now which output should be routed to this audio track. Um, in this case, I go for the main output, and I usually would go for the post fader version. So let's do this for all our tracks. If I play now the main uh, track, you can hear our little beat that we prepared. But I want to mute this now because I want to um, hear the result from all the audio tracks. So let's select them all and hit the little arm icon on the left in the inspector. And if we play it again, you can see that we get now the metering on each channel for each of the outputs which is routed to it. As an extra tip, um, you can now save this as a template. So um, the next time you open a new Bitwig project, um, you don't have to do this again from scratch. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment. I'm going to respond to everyone. And other than that, um, have a nice evening and see you in the next video. Bye.